What's poppin'? Hold up. It's your boy Kenneth. You already know what it is. You don't, but you will. Welcome to Picks for Us. You already know what it is. It's a series. It's like we do new pickups. We might do sneaker stories. I don't know. We might do, who knows what we're gonna do, but we're just putting out a lot of content. This is one of the pieces of content we're putting out. So we're gonna get started. Recently posted a picture on Instagram where I uh, put my old four collection of Jordan 4s. And everybody who knows me knows that the Jordan 4 is my favorite shoe. So I posted a picture and I was like, you know what? I should do an update video of where this picture has grown. So what I have done is I've grabbed all my fours out of the closet and I have placed them here right now. So out of this bunch of shoes, the pair that I've had the longest because I've sold over time, I've sold, bought back, resold, couldn't find in my size. But out of these shoes here, the pair that I've had the longest is the Fear Fours. And if you look at them, you can definitely tell that these are the ones I've had the longest. I don't wear these anymore because I lost the shoestrings that originally came with them and I no longer like this, this shoe that I have in here. So because of that, I won't wear it. I just gotta buy me some new shoestrings and then I gotta, you know, Know, spruce it up a little bit give a little spit shine make it look nice you already know what it is but these are the fear fours when i first got these i don't know where i was at i was in a i was in a good place in life i was able to afford them so still got them i didn't have to sell them they made it through the uh they made it through the storm the next pair i would say would be the columbia fours these would be the ones i've had the next longest you can also tell by looking at them that they've been worn and i've had them for uh, a nice amount of time but um you know you always need your nice blue shoes dark blue navy navy is my favorite color so i wish i could wear these more but at this point i'm kind of trying to preserve them a little bit so i just pull them out on special occasions you know i pull them out here and there the next i would say <sighs> these kind of wanted to say these to the end because these are kind of a gem a jewel if you would say the creme de la creme if you would say um there was a long day line for these and i don't stand in lines if you know me I hate lines i will not stand in line for nothing but these i was like i don't care i'm gonna be there bright and early 6 a.m i got up i hopped in line at foot locker i was in line from six until the phone opened at eight it's occurred my pair i love them a red shoe you can never go wrong with them. red shoes red shoes are clean and this is like this is probably in my four rotation like this is probably like my top this is in my top five this is definitely in my top five i may say like i'm a three give it a strong three i'm definitely i'm pretty sure it's these it's either these or the cements but i'm gonna say these i think came out before the cements but i'm not sure these are the alternate these might have came out after anyways these are the ones you're gonna see first alternate 89 got the alternate right there boom boom you already know what it is white and red you can never go wrong but this red is kind of hard to match because it's like a deeper red but it don't matter i like it i love it if you like it i love it and i do love it so you already know next cements i've almost had to retire these because i've worn them so much you can definitely tell they've been worn this was when i got it this was definitely in the top five i think it may have fallen out of the top no i say it's still in the top five it might be a strong five cements people love those and then of course whenever you see that nike air on the back people love it takes the value of the shoe on resale up about 50 more bucks just because it got nike air on it yeah pat me them thing these are definitely older than the other ones i've shown but that's not the order that i bought these in i bought these from somebody and their age is showing i will i think they're supposed to be re-releasing these this year if they do i rarely get two pairs of shoes i would definitely get two of these because these are just like you could wear these with almost anything let's get it um let's see where we at okay these i think these are the dunk for if i'm not mistaken don't quote me on it don't crucify me for it if i'm wrong these don't get that much wear just because there's not a lot to wear them with but i got them at the outlets for about 60 bucks can't pass that up i would this was one of the ones i was like i want it but if it don't go on sale i'm not gonna get it if it don't make it to the outlets it's not for me made it to the outlets thank you lord guess it was for me moving on after those, it was definitely these. And these are the reasons I didn't get the DMP6s. Because I don't wear these that often. 
man down. They're a nice clean shoe. I like them, but I just don't have too much of a purpose to wear them. So I was like, why get the DMPs when I already have basically the same colorway and I don't wear them. After those, these, these have become like my travel shoe. I climbed a mountain in these. I played in snow in these. They're not good for snow. You're not gonna be able to make it up wherever you're trying to climb. I'm gonna let you know that now. But for climbing mountains, you're good. Just snow, there's no tracks. You can't get no kind of grooves and you just gonna slide down. I had to watch my baby climb the ice hill and I couldn't get up there. I'm like, baby, I'm trying. I can't, I can't. I'm a, I, I, I can't, I'm trying, but you know. These have become like my all purpose shoes, you know. I traveled to Vegas recently, these were the shoes. Like when I travel a lot of times, I try to take one pair of shoes, like a multi-purpose pair. Moving on from that, at this point, it don't even matter the order that they came out in. Cool grades, quick story about when we first moved to Orlando, really. Six months after we moved, I was looking on eBay. This is like, I think actually I had just got my income tax. This would, this would make sense while I was looking on eBay for shoes. I had just got my income tax was looking act a little stupid. I was on there and I was just searching, put in Jordan 4, size 13. Da -da 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 -da. See what came up. And these came up, but they were a size 12. And I really wanted them. Dude was willing to go down on the price. So I bought them. Wore them things for probably about two weeks before I decided I can't do it. My feet was hurting and I really liked it because this is like one of my grail shoes. I had to sell those and I was like, if they ever come back out, I'm gonna get them. Lo and behold, Jordan brand loves to re-release shoes. So, got my hands on these and I actually haven't worn them that many times. Bottom is still like really clean. I've only worn them a few times, but we'll get, uh, right now I can't wear them because we can't go nowhere, so it don't matter. We'll get back to it. You know, when outside open back up, these gonna be on my feet. These are a pair that I bought too soon because I thought they were gonna sell out for some, <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, I was like, man, I need to get these. Man, I could have waited. When I say I could have waited, these things went low, low. Dang, pulled the trigger too soon, but you know, I'm happy I got them. Sometimes you run the risk with a size 13. They might be there, they might not. They be doing us dirty on size 13. They don't be wanting to fully stop the stores. If you go to the store, you are gonna see like two pairs pair of 13s and then it's out. Don't be showing us no love. I'm gonna do these last. Up here, these are the wheat four, ginger fours, whatever you wanna call them. They do have a couple different names. Uh, I probably got these things for about 75% off. They retail for 400, 400 is not what I paid for them. Dude's trying to get off his, his collection. Sometimes third size 13s are hard to sell. So he had these for a little bit. I was like, man, let me get those. He worked with me. And oh uh, yeah, this is probably number four in the top five, but I don't get to wear them that often. I don't wear boots. People wear Tim's and stuff like that. Like I don't wear those. So this is my substitution for when, when it's necessary that I may need a boot. This is my boot because I just don't like Tim's. I don't know why, just don't. And now. <sighs> these are the bread fours. Fun fact, these are the first fours that I ever owned. Not, not this particular pair, but the first pair of fours. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna take y'all down, you know, real quick, you know, quick story. Can you uh look in the back of the closet? There should be a Nike box on the floor, like a brown one. I see orange one. Nah, it should be a brown one under. I see a brown one. Yeah. Quick sneaker history. Do, do, do. When I first got into shoes, like when I was young, my mom didn't buy me shoes. Not that we couldn't afford it. She just couldn't see herself spending over a certain amount for shoes. So I would always want shoes. My cousin would get every sneaker release that would drop. I couldn't get none of it if it wasn't in Ross, K-Swiss, whatever. It wasn't for me. So time goes by. It takes me a while to get out of this um, saving, not being able to spend over a certain amount that my mom put me in. Not to say that that's a bad thing. It just took me a while to get over it. So like me in college, I'm not buying shoes at all like i'm flip-flops i'm quick i didn't really care about shoes and then went into the store one day just happened to come up on these shoes these may not be spectacular to you but once you find once you see these you'll understand why these are my favorite shoe these things got some age to them i still have them 
This is the shoe that kicked off my sneaker obsession. This is the Flight 89. And it's basically, I guess, a down, like when they were trying to sell these, I guess it was sort of a downgraded model or that went beside it, but you can see the similarities in them. This pair has obviously done been through a lot. I've had these since 2009. I think that's when my sneaker obsession started. I've had these since 2009. I can no longer wear them. They are one, basically beaten, but they are two, too small. This was around the time when I thought my foot was a size 12, when it was not. Um, that's another story for another day. And once I saw these, Black Friday was about a month away and these dropped that Black Friday. So once I got these, I was like, saw that they were re-releasing these. I was like, I need them. I got to get them. I need them. I need them. Black Friday, I'm there in line. Got them. Bought them in a size 12. Cause once again, this is when I said, I thought my size, my foot was a size 12. So I would always wear them. Wonder why my foot hurt, idiot. You bought the wrong size shoe. I ended up selling them like all my fours, like I say, a lot of the fours in that picture, I have those and I have more. And a lot of those I had to sell because they were a size 12. I couldn't wear them. So a lot of them I sold, couldn't ever get them back or they were the price to buy them back was too much and I just couldn't see myself doing it. These dropped last year. I already knew I was on it. It was a done deal. I'm on it. But this is um, the favorite four that I own. My favorite four of all time is the Miss Blue four. So top five would be boom. Number one, she's number two, she's number three for my Tim boots at number four and number five. Out of what I own, these are my favorite four. Sure, I know what it is. Next time I'm going to take you into, I think why I think threes may be my favorite shoe now. We're gonna dive into that. But sure, I know. Kicks for us. Episode two, we are shit. Hold up. Let's go. <laughs> hey, let's shoot another episode. <laughs>